morning it's very early we're going downtown i'm gonna drop my mom off at work and then i'm gonna go work at a cafe because that's something i can do now in belize there used to not really be any kind of like coffee shop cafes that you could work at um but my friend alana has been did the power go out again what that beep beeping sound was the power went out and but uh came back and i made my coffee so um Anyways, I'm gonna go work at a cafe called Brew. It's near the seaside. It's kind of nice. I've had a rough few weeks, so I'm kind of trying to get back to it, even though like I'll never get back to it in the same way that I did before. And I also feel weird saying like get back to it, like this was just like a blip in the timeline. It wasn't, it, it changed the timeline forever. <laughs> but anyways, um, I felt like I needed like a project to throw myself into, and I had this like idea brewing in the back of my head for a while now. So I figured, might as well do it. I'm official announcement, reopening my shop. <laughs> Ooh, that's scary. Um, there's just so much work ahead of me with reopening my shop. It's gonna be a lot of work, but it's the kind of work that I find very relaxing, especially once it's all done, it's very... Ugh. I'm planning on more than just prints and bookmarks, so I really need to get the things done so they can go off to print. I don't think that it'll reopen until June probably, maybe late June. I have no clue how long these things will take um, since it'll be my first time and plus like I need to make sure they come out good. It's scary! <laughs> but anyways, look forward to that. I'm gonna be heading back to New York in the middle of May, so yay! I'm sad to leave home, but I'll be back again because my sister... I don't think I can say it online actually. But I'll be back in August in Belize, so it is so hot. Like, I cannot keep my hair down for longer than like five minutes, if even. But I'm going to work and I wanted to listen to a book, but I've been having such a hard time getting into books recently. I just can't, I just can't get into them. Like, there's just, there's just something, I don't know. I can't listen to audiobooks, so I started reading on my Kindle House of Blood and Bane by Alexis Menard. This is the pitches like Peaky Blinders meets fantasy with magic and like houses and you know gods that give uh, descendants powers. There's a city and it's divided between non-magic folk and magic folk and the regular humans are the ones that are more powerful and suppressing the magic folk which i'm always like that's so interesting to unpack yeah i started reading that on my kindle and there's an audiobook for it but it's only available from audible and i don't have any credits left and it's on kindle limited but i've been reading on my phone because i read a lot faster on my phone but i think i might switch over to my kindle just because kindle's fun and i want an audiobook to listen to while i work on my ipad and the drawing stuff that I'm doing, but I don't have an audiobook. I was trying to start Emily Wilder's Encyclopedia for Fairies, but I just wasn't into it yet. It's just not the book for right now. I'm sure that I'll enjoy it at another time. It's also reminding me too much of, um, like just the setup is reminding me too much of A Natural History of Dragons 
and that book kind of drained me a bit it was fine it wasn't bad or anything but it kind of drained me my mustache is sweating my sweat mustache I don't know. Should I just reread one of my old favorites? Before I came home to Belize, I was um, planning on rereading The Raven Cycle again. I know I just reread it like the end of last year, but I just really had a desire. So maybe I'll, maybe I'll do that. I don't know. I don't really know what I'm in the mood for right now besides this book that I'm currently reading physically. Anyways, that's it for now. Um, we should probably be leaving soon, mom. <laughs> Whenever I log on to public Wi-Fi, I always make sure that I have my VPN on. So I would like to take a second to thank the sponsor of this video, NordVPN. If you're not already using a VPN, you definitely should. And NordVPN is the fastest on the planet. Your privacy on the internet is super important. And NordVPN keeps you safe from malware, shady links, pop-ups, and more with their threat protection. They don't track or share what you do online and even offer a feature that stops any kind of web trackers. NordVPN also has a dark web monitor to keep you safe to prevent any of your data leaking onto you know the dark web or any other sketchy sites of course with a vpn you can change your location to a different country so you can watch shows and movies that are not available in your region which i have been doing since i'm currently in belize and it's part of the mexico region and i want to keep up with the shows that i was watching when i was in the states it also helps keep my algorithm consistent which is important to me because i i've carefully curated my algorithm. NordVPN has 24-hour customer support, a 30-day money-back guarantee, and one account protects up to 10 devices. If you want to sign up and get the exclusive NordVPN deal, plus four months extra, use my link in the description below. Honestly, it's so helpful to have a VPN, and I feel way safer using the internet out and about at cafes in Belize, and I honestly should have been using it from a long time ago because I go to cafes in New York City all the time, which Honestly, it's probably more dangerous than here. So thanks again to NordVPN for sponsoring this video.
The post-lunch sleepiness. It's been like an hour since I ate lunch. Maybe even more. But I'm so sleepy. I made myself another coffee, but it's just not hitting at all. It's because it's so hot. It's like the sun is high in the sky and it's just hot. I didn't end up listening to any more of Emily Wilde's Encyclopedia of Fairies. I just listened to music and which I know I like never do that. I'm not much of a music gal, I guess, kinda. I get song fixations or like a couple songs and I play them over and over again. And I haven't found like a new song except for Labor by Paris Paloma, but it's not like quite the fixation of how I normally am. Like in December, I think it was like December, January, and maybe fe a little bit of February, I was obsessed with Can't Catch Me Now by Olivia Rodrigo, part of the Ballad of Blood and S Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes, Blood, the, the soundtrack for that, Lacey, also by Olivia Rodrigo, and Pure as the Driven Snow by Rachel Segler. Like, those songs were playing on repeat. Anyways, I was working on some stuff for my shop, and then I switched over to these invitations that I have to make for my sister. It's way in advance. The event that I'm making these invitations for won't happen until August, but because her friends live all around the world, they need to plan to come back to Belize for August. So um, I need to get those invitations completed. And it's a lot of planning to do because it's gonna be like a big thing because if I know my sister, <laughs> I can't share what this it's gonna be, but this is the kind of event that um, one is not supposed to plan for themselves. But my sister is very hmm, controlling. She wants to control every detail. And so her friend found out that she was already planning it and she was like, you're not allowed. And also, I, I guess she forgot that she already roped me in to help her with all of this stuff. Cause she was even talking like she was gonna be doing this alone. I was like, girl, you've already looped me in on this. Like I'm already, <laughs> but I guess I just took too long to actually do the imitation, so... Okay. <laughs> Snow wants to play with Rocky, and Rocky's an old man, and he's grumpy, and he doesn't want to play. <laughs> Thanks, Snow! She just licked the microphone. Thanks, Rex. This lighting is just... so great. I still have a lot of work to do on my computer, so I want something to listen to, but I think I'm just gonna end up watching some Netflix or something. I kinda wanna take a break to read for a little bit, but I need to finish what I'm currently working on first. It's just like boring, but I find very fun admin on my computer. Oh my God, it's so loud in this neighborhood, what the heck? <laughs> okay, I'm sweating. I need to turn the other fan on now. <laughs> it's that time of day.
gonna have an early night since I woke up so early. <laughs> I didn't even take a nap today, can you believe it? I wanna read for as long as I can until I fall asleep. I don't normally fall asleep while reading. I really have to be tired to do that. And I have no self-control when it comes to stopping once I'm like in the flow of it and I read best at night before bed. It's I feel like I it's always been that way for me. When I first like really got into reading when I was like, I don't know how old I was, maybe 12 or 13, I would take, my mom would take away her Kindle. Careful. My mom would take away the book or the Kindle before bed. And I used to take my little crappy digital camera and take photos of the pages. I feel like I have a memory of it being one of the Percy Jackson books that I would do that to. And I would have to like zoom in and like go down oh my god what did it have to be alive back then <laughs> but anyways i feel like i actually had a really good reading break which sometimes i feel like i don't really have like a good break when i'm working and especially not to read or like half of it is reading half of it is phone time this book so far is pretty captivating and i've honestly annotated a couple of lines which always makes me happy because i feel like i'm enjoying a book whether it's good or not I feel like I'm enjoying it. I feel like I'm having a good time reading it. The chemistry between the main characters, but we'll see. We have more to go. I'm only at 22%, 100 pages in. Did I even say what this book was actually about? Like, I think I explained the world. Like, what the characters are up to, what the plot is. <laughs> the main character, she is a human, so she doesn't have powers. And she comes from very old money. Her name means a lot of power. But her family doesn't have any money actually now. And so, gang type vibe, Peaky Blinder vibes the magic wielder that's our male main character and he basically a deal is struck it's an arranged marriage and he also you know behind the scenes makes a deal with her because there's an impending war civil unrest between the two factions of people and even the factions within the magic wielders as well stuff going on there it seems like but we'll see i will say especially since i've been in a reading slumpy vibe ugh, dare I even call it that because once you call it that it feels like then you have a curse of it but let's just let's just face the the music at this point I did not finish a book in April also I meant to say this this morning with being so reading slumpy please leave your recommendations for me what was a book that got you out of your reading slump I'm very much a mood reader so chances are I might be like oh I don't like this or I don't like that if you recommend a certain book um, but I still like to know, <laughs> just on the off chance that I'd, I'm willing to try something different. Or if you do read similarly to me, let me know. I really need a, uh, a book that has an audiobook as well. That'd be helpful because I really want to listen to an audiobook. I really want to like have one to listen to to get the ball rolling so that I can get into my usual flow of audiobooks. But nothing is currently tickling my fancy. But what's I saying? The beginning was really strong. It captivated me right away, so... A plus, but we'll see how this goes. I'll try and give an update in a future video, but that's it for now. That's it for this video. I haven't filmed a proper full video in ages. I had a really hard time filming like a complete thing, hence my previous video. I'll be back in New York in a few weeks, so let me know what kind of New York content you would like to see from me. And one last thing, thank you again to NordVPN for sponsoring this video. Remember, if you want to check out their exclusive deals and get three months free, you can sign up using the link in my description. It helps out a lot. Thank you so much. Good night.